Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Who this world refers to as Jesus Christ, Baha Shem, is in the name Rakaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in his truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth. And it's a city Shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. The title of this video, Laura Willem, is going to be, you know, just this is this crunch time, man. All right, you know, because you know we at the end, man. You know, really just flowing through the spirit here, but this is crunch time, man. All right, you know, let me just start with this scripture here. First Timothy four and verse one says, "Now the Spirit speaketh expressly." That in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. And we're in these times now. We're in the latter times. We're in the later times, man. All right? Because we're, we're we're closer to the uh, to the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right? You know, we're, we're seeing famines. We're seeing the rumors of wars. Okay? We're seeing the love of many waxing cold. We're seeing iniquity abounding. Okay, we're seeing all the signs that we need to see. Earthquakes in diverse places. What else do you need, man? Okay, we're, we're seeing the MOTB, okay, being pushed. We're seeing the digital dollar being implemented, man. What else do you need to see, man? Okay, we're in these latter times, man, that the Bible speaks of. Romans 13, 11, it says, now our time, uh, our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. Okay, so our salvation is nigh, man. It says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Okay, so men that's in his truth, okay, you know, that's why I hey, pray that the Lord don't take his spirit off you, man. Okay, Psalms 51. Give me any plague but the plague of the mind, the plague of the heart. You don't want to be bugged out, man. Okay? It says, Some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Okay? Seducing spirits. You know, not wanting to follow the order that has been set in place, you know, by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, believing in the flat earth. Okay, believing, you know, that you can have sex with other men's wives. You can have sex on the Sabbath. Any anything contrary, you know, than what we was taught. You know, uh, that's making me think of the one scripture. Uh, continuing the doctrine which ye have learned, man. Okay. Let me get that real quick so I don't forget. I was going to get to 1st Timothy, but I, I was thinking there's another one. Oh, uh, maybe it's, oh, uh, yeah, it's Hold Fast. Come on, this is Titus. I'll just bring this out, but it's it's, uh, it's just hold fast. Let me bring this out. Titus one and nine says, "Holding fast 
the faithful word as ye have been taught that ye may be able to, by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers man okay so holding fast this faithful word as ye have been taught okay so this the doctrine that we learn man yeah, all right this is the truth man we and we know that through faith that which ye have that which ye have already hold fast till I come you know this faith this doctrine because you've been teaching the wrong doctrine man okay you are scattering the sheep okay and you have blood on your hands man so let me uh jump back to Timothy chapter 4 and verse 2 it says speaking lies and hypocrisy having their conscience seared with that hot iron okay we don't want to be hypocrites man hypocrisy going into a, being a hypocrite okay that's why it says in Syrac or Ecclesiasticus chapter 2 so like it's chapter 1 and verse 29 let me start at 28 this Distrust not the fear of the Lord when thou art poor. Okay, so we're supposed to be honoring the Lord hey, when you're at a low estate or when you're when you're on high. Because scripture says, you know, in Sirach 2 and verse. says whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate okay so we gotta be we gotta be patient man when we're when you're changed to a low estate you know don't just trust in the lord when you're uh when you're at a poor estate okay but jumping back to sirach 1 and 28 distrust not to fear the lord when thou art poor and come not unto him with a double heart be not an hypocrite in the sight of men and take good heed what thou speakest. All right? Because everything that we're dishing out, you know, we got we're gonna be uh we're gonna be judged with that with those same words, man. That's why the scripture says, you know, uh uh I don't want to butcher it, Matthew 7. And I'll start at the top. Judge not that ye be not judged, for what judgment ye judge ye shall be judged okay so the things that we're that we're telling the people okay we're gonna be held to those same accountabilities and it says and with what measure ye meet it shall be measured to you again all right and verse 3 it says and why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye you see so we gotta we gotta take accountability of, of what we're uh telling you know the hopeful elect the nation of israel okay well we're telling them we gotta make sure we're on point with the same things as well uh but let me jump back to first timothy 4 and uh, i'm gonna read verse 3 and i'm gonna jump down it says forbidding to marry a commanding to abstain from meats which the Most High have created to, to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. All right, so so you don't want to be giving to giving heed to these seducing spirits, you know these uh, fables that's out here. You want to stick to the true doctrine that we have been learned, you know. With the started from the apostles and the elders on down, man. It's that simple. I'm gonna jump down on First Timothy chapter four, and I'm gonna jump on down to verse. Let me start at 
start at 13 it says till I come give attendance to reading exhortation to doctrine man so we got to be present attendance going to be in present okay on uh doing our reading okay doing our lessons exhortations man okay and stand to stand true to the doctrine man okay because you don't want to be teaching false doctrine man. that's that's blood on your hands and that's that's worthy of death man it says verse 14 neglect not the gift that is in thee so don't hide your talent okay put forth the wisdom that you have been given from the lord it says which was given thee by a prophecy okay the elect was preordained to be prophets unto the nations you know via prophecy with the laying on with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery the elders okay it says meditate upon these things give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all so we want to give forth our best effort to these things man okay to reading to studying okay to exhortation and verse 16 is, is the point it says take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine okay so stay on point with this doctrine man it says continue in them continue in them man okay don't don't wander don't wander off don't don't be trying to do your own thing man okay okay because we was all taught okay none of us none of us taught ourselves man we was all taught this thing it says continue in them for in doing this Thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Okay, so we're not only doing this for ourselves, okay, but we're looking to save, uh, we're looking to uh, save the hopeful elect as well. You know, we not we don't uh, we don't do this do this thing for ourselves only, but all them that all them that seek learning as well, man. Right? why it's very important that we stay stay prayed up you know stay doing the things that we need to do for the lord to uh keep his spirit upon us give diligence to make your calling and election sure if you do these things you shall never fall man that's a heavy statement man so you got to be diligent in this thing all right that's a heavy scripture i should say it's not our own words first peter five and eight be sober, be circumspect, okay? Be vigilant. Why? It says, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking who he may devour. Okay, a roaring lion is always looking for another pride, you know, to take over. Okay, likewise, you know with Satan man okay he's always lifting looking to sift you out that's his job man you can't be mad that's his job man okay but how do you combat that man the scripture says resist the devil and he shall flee from you man so if you stay in the spirit you stay prayed up the devil will flee from you man alright cause he's looking to like a roaring lion looking to take over a new pride, you know. So the spiritual uh, Satan, he's looking, he's looking to, he's looking to uh, overtake you, man. These these uh, demons, these spirits, they're looking to to clean house for a clean house, so they can come dwell in, man. All right, but the scripture says, "Well, resist." James 4 and 7. It says, Submit yourselves therefore to the Most High. So if we submit to Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, submit, being in submission, okay, pretty much giving our selling out on the right hand side, giving our life over to Yahweh Bashim Shai, 
losing our life, okay? Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you, man. All right, so if you resist, let me go into that word resist here. On James 4 and 7. says resist and that word Strong's G 436 Anthistemi Anthistemi it says to set oneself against to withstand resist opposed to set against alright so we're setting ourselves against you know the devil man okay these seducing spirits okay cause he's gonna try to come through other people man Okay, whether it be your woman, okay, somebody on the streets, man, these false prophets out here. All right, he's going to try to, he's going to try to sift you out the faith. That's his just job, man. You know, walking around as a roaring lion, man, seeking who he can take over, man, who he may devour, as the scripture says. All right. But if you resist the devil, man, it says he will flee from you. Verse 8, it says, draw nigh to the Most High, he will draw nigh to you. Okay, so, so be in the spirit, man. Read, study, pray. That's drawing nigh unto Yahweh by Shem Shai, keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. That's drawing nigh unto Yahweh by Shem Shai. It says, draw nigh to God, Yahweh by Shem Shai, and he will draw nigh to you. So the Lord is going to meet you halfway. It says, cleanse your hands, ye sinners. Confess your faults, man. Okay? And it says what? It says, and purify your hearts, meaning your mind, being renewed in this knowledge, man. It says, purify. It says, and purify your hands, Salakia. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Okay? So we want to be... You know, you want to you want to be uh, we want to uh, keep your keep your eyes single, man. All right, the scripture says, keep your eye uh, single. Let me get that. Keep uh, it says thine eyes single. It says uh, the light Matthew six and twenty two. It says the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. So we got to keep our keep our eye on the prize, man. Okay? And what's the prize? You know? Salvation, man. If you're keeping your eyes on salvation, man, you're not going to be deterred, man. Okay? Because when temptation comes your way, you're going to be thinking, man, is this worth salvation? Okay, because you're going to be put to death, man. If, if you don't receive salvation, you're going to be put to death, man. So if you're being double-minded, okay, you know, you believe in certain parts of the doctrine, not taking full heed to the doctrine, okay, you're being a, a, a double-minded man, the Lord is going to destroy you, man. He, 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 can't, he can't deal with you, man. All right, because what does it say verbatim? And um, not John. James James 1 and 8 it says a double minded man is unstable in all his ways so if you're a double minded you're going to be unstable in the time of Jacob's trouble okay what does the scripture says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time it's going to keep us stable but if you're double minded you're going to be unstable you're not going to be solid in a time of trouble, okay, you're gonna be wavering, okay, you're gonna be doubting, okay, you don't, you're gonna think the Lord is not dealing with you, okay, and that's gonna lead to your, that's gonna lead, lead to your demise, okay, because if you're not focusing on, if you're, if you're, the Lord is not guiding you in that time, man, all right, what, what can you really do, man? You're gonna be misguided. If you're not guided, you're misguided. It says in Syrac, uh, 
know, 16, I mean, not a side rack, second Ezra's 16 and verse. Uh, let me start at 71. It says here, second Ezra 16 and 71, uh, Salakia 74. It says, Here, O ye my O ye my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. So we're coming into the time of of Jacob's trouble. A time like never before. Yaiquab Tazara, man. Uh, it says, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, man. <laughs> you know, and this scripture speaks volumes, man. Romans 13 11, I quoted it. Uh, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe is a high time to awake out of sleep, man. It says, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. But and it says, But I will deliver you from the same. It says, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is your guide. Okay. But if you're double minded, then you're doubting. You're not, you don't have a solid foundation, man, to stand upon. Okay, it says, uh, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. He's going to be guiding you. Okay, it says, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. So the Lord is going to be guiding those that uh, that are keeping his commandments and precepts, man. Sticking, st uh, staying true to the doctrine. It says, Save the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves, man. Okay, so you you wanna be you wanna be firm, man. Okay, not wavering. You wanna try to be on point, man, to the best of your ability. Alright, and that all starts, you know, with doing with doing the things that you need to do now, man. Stand true to the doctrine. Okay. Praying, fasting, all these things are necessary, man. All right. And I'm going to close with this Romans. Since I quoted it, let's let the scripture speak for itself. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, see, we know the time, man. Why? You know, because Lord willing, we have that number. All right. The elect is going to be prepared. All right. Because we understand the scriptures. We understand the prophecies. All right. It says in that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. Our salvation is nigh, man. Okay. So we got to be on point, man. And it goes to myself first and foremost. All right. So with that. You know, Lord willing, this video is at the fine. I'm going to close and give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. And to the next lesson, I say Shalom and the Baba Ball. Shalom.